In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a custom cart icon to your Elementor Pro WooCommerce website. Now let's go ahead and begin here. Go ahead and open up your Elementor editor on your header and go ahead and click on your cart icon and then go into advanced and go into custom CSS. But before we do that, we need to go ahead and upload our custom cart icon. Let's go into our dashboard, go into your media and then go ahead and upload your icon here. Now, if you need to upload an SVG, go into your plugins and you're going to need to install a plugin called SVG safe, or you can also install another plugin called SVG support. Either or is going to work. And after you've done that, you can go ahead and upload your SVG. Now let's go back to our media because we're going to be using this page in a bit. Now let's go back to Elementor and go into your custom code and let's open up a preview window here so I can go over how we can access uh, CSS class here for this icon. Go ahead and right click it and go ahead and use your marquee tool here on the left side and then go ahead and click on your icon, your cart icon. And as we can see, we can see that we have a class of, of E icon dash cart dash solid. Now, if yours says a different class, we can go ahead and use that, but your class will change depending on which icon you have. So whether it's a basket, whether it's a cart light, your icon class will change. So let me update this because this is very important. So if I update this, when we go back, we'll notice that our class here has changed to basket medium. Now, it doesn't really matter which icon cart you're using, as long as you target the current active class that's being used. So now that we got that out of the way, we can go ahead and write our custom CSS. As mentioned, go into your menu cart and go back into advanced and go to custom CSS. Go ahead and type selector to target our current element. And then let's go ahead and grab our icon class here. Just going to click edit as HTML. And we're going to copy this class here. Now your class may look different. It may be shorter, just like this, if it's an older version, or it may just have cart instead. Doesn't really matter what the name is. Just go ahead and copy your current class that we have set on here. Now go back into your home and then go ahead and type a period and then paste your class. There we go. Then add some curly brackets in between those curly brackets. We're going to add content colon. Give it some space here. We're going to do URL oval shape brackets in between that. Add some single quotes down here. We just need to add our icon URL, whether it's an SVG or a PNG. Let's go into our media library. Go ahead and click on your image here. Mine is currently in SVG, but you can also do a PNG, click copy to clipboard, go back into Elementor and then paste that in between your single quotes. There we go. Now we just need to adjust some of the sizing here. So right below our semicolon here, we're going to start another line and we're going to type in with colon 100% exclamation point important. Now I will have this down in the description so you guys can copy it anyway, but I just want to go over it. We have that set to important and then right after our curly bracket there, we're going to go ahead and add a new style. Now you should have this part already pasted on here, but just in case you don't, I have this down in the description. Just go ahead and paste it right after this style here. And we currently have the width set to 30, but if you needed to make your icon smaller, you can go ahead and set this to 20 pixels. If you need to make a larger 40 pixels, and I think you kind of get the gist of it. And then that's pretty much it. It's basically all set. We can click update, but just in case things are not working and if there's an update or something, I would just add in porn here. I'm going to do that and I'm going to add that to the code anyway, just in case things are not working properly. I'm going to also add it here. You don't need to, but sometimes Elementor will make an update and may override this stuff here. So I'm just going to put in porn for now. Now, this is going to work perfectly on any device, just like how it was before. As you can tell, everything's looking good. Now, if you guys have any questions, just comment down below and I'll try to help you guys out. If you guys did find this video helpful, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thanks for watching.